Well, good morning. It's Sunday morning. The end of the week. But I've got another day off tomorrow. Hurrah! How wonderful. So I'm cracking on with a few household chores this morning. As you can see, I've stripped those seat covers from the teal sofa. I've also done the throw that's normally on the back. And as you can see, we've got the camera out and the light because it's almost time to film Sunday chat. So yesterday was a fairly busy day. A few chores. What else did I do? Putting clothes away, washing away. I had a quick bath in the late afternoon, which was nice. The weather is calm and sunny and feeling warmer. We've got a mini heat wave on the way, apparently. Yeah. So what's in store today? Sunday chat, get that sorted. I'll be working on um, another fragrance video. I've done episode one. I think I'm happy with it. Although I'm going to review it again. But I'd like to start the next episode and get that in the can. Um, yeah, that's what I like to do. It's it's interesting, actually, because... Uh, pardon me, I'm a bit congested this morning. I've just had a bit of a sneeze. Um, when we start sort of new series of videos, it's always a good feeling to get a few done and in the can... So you don't have that sort of feeling, oh God, I've got to do that other video and get it out. It, I don't like to do things in a rush. I like to do things in my own time. But I also like things to be fairly regular. If it is a series, you know, regularity is, is a good thing. And continuity and all of that. So... Yeah, we've had breakfast. We had toasted crumpets this morning, which was lovely. That's our little treat that we have at the weekend. Toast or crumpets because we don't eat a lot of bread at all. It's quite rare now that we have bread. So, and it, it looks like it's going to be a, a lovely day. There's a little bit of a breeze, but it's it's looking very blue the sky against the green of the trees which are just in full swing now let me flip you around and show you I cleaned these blinds this morning I dusted them gave them their weekly dust It's like a lovely sunny day out there. Palm tree is huge. It's 20 years old, that palm tree. Planted as a baby. And of course we've got to that stage where people are starting to go away on their holidays. And it's quite interesting actually because London at one point, well, certainly our area, the cars all disappear because people have gone away and we have a quiet lull. I know that the last week in July and the first week in August is very popular with a lot of people. And it just means the area gets a little quieter for a while. And then, of course, everybody comes back and... We have periods of feral children roaming the streets. And also the other thing that I notice when people are, when the kids are on holiday, is the amount of dog poo on the streets goes up. Because clearly the parents send the kids out to walk the dogs. And they don't pick up after themselves. It's true. Absolutely true. So yeah, guess I'd better get on with the day. Oh, I cut my hair yesterday. I don't know whether you can tell. I gave it a, a trim. Looks a bit frizzy, but I just cut bits off. 
I mean, like I said, I section it with hair bands and I just trim a similar amount off each one. I did it a couple of weeks ago, but I thought I'd do it again. I can never get the back right though. <laughs> I don't worry about these things. If there's a bit that's uh, too long or too short, whatever, whatever. Nobody's looking at me, really. So I'm gonna crack on because we need to film and get Sunday chat edited and uploaded so, if, so you can enjoy it. And uh, we've got a lot to talk about this week. So yeah, I'll crack on. I'll see you later. Bye for now. Well, good morning. It's Monday. Yeah, and I'm not at work. Hurrah. I'm very pleased about that. Although I'm struggling to get going this morning, to be honest. Um, what have I done so far? Um, had breakfast, put the covers back on the sofa, which I'm happy about. So I'm not sitting on it because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when I've cleaned, I say to Paul, don't use that room. It's clean. Oh, brightness. Reflections of the sun on a car. Uh, yeah, I've done that. Um, I slept later than I anticipated. I was hoping to be up quite early this morning, but well, I did wake up early. I woke up at, I think it was about quarter to five because I heard the five o'clock bongs on the clock. And, uh, oh, let me move my arm. Yeah, but I didn't get up. I went back to sleep, which is very unusual for me. <sighs> Typical, day off, want to be up early. I wake up early and go back to sleep. <sighs> yeah. Um. So I've got a couple of goals for today. I want to continue filming my fragrance journey. I was going to film yesterday afternoon, but I ended up writing and making notes instead. Because I want to make sure that I'm including value. And also, you know, when you're playing with essential oils, there are certain things you have to pay attention to, like quantities and percentages and dilution rates and all of that. And it gets a little bit mathematical. I'm not great with maths. Mm. But uh, once I've got a calculator, being nosy, um, when I've got a calculator, I'm fine. And obviously, we've all got calculators on our phones these days, so that's not an issue. So, yeah, I'm going to be filming more... Um, Ooh, went cross-eyed then. Um, today, I'm going to be starting quite soon. I need to get changed and have a sort of freshen up. I've just wet my hair because it was looking like a, a sort of bird's nest. So I've wet it just to dampen it down a little bit. That's the thing, when you cut your hair, when you've got curly hair, it tends to give you more body immediately because everything sort of stands up so uh yeah i still need to get my friend to do the back though because it's there's a sort of thick area at the back here which is too thick and i don't want to go in with the thinning shears in case i uh, make it look straggly which i've done before what time is it 10 o'clock it must be so yeah i'm going to crack on i need to read through my notes from yesterday and make sure I know what I'm doing. Yeah. I also noticed there were planes going over this morning as well. The sound of summer in Ealing, planes roaring overhead. I was quite surprised because we've not had a lot of planes recently. Not sure why. Today is destined to be very warm, if not hot, but usually that heat builds and peaks later in the afternoon. So I'm trying to get all the things that I want to do done this morning and out of the way because then I can have a little bit of relaxation this afternoon and maybe even an afternoon nap. Ooh, that's not happened for a while. Ah, I do love an afternoon nap. 
just makes me feel so good. I know a lot of people, I've got a few friends who say, God, I can't nap. I feel dreadful when I wake up. Um, I do if I'm taken a very long afternoon nap. I mean, if it's about an hour, which I tend to do, that's for me just enough, just enough to refresh for the evening. And it rarely has any um, ill effects. Oh, also, I saw a fox in the garden this morning. That's quite unusual. I've not seen a fox in the back garden for a while. It looked okay. It looked fairly healthy. That's okay. We've had plenty. I don't know whether you remember a few years ago when we were clearing the shed, we found the mummified remains of a fox under the shed that we had, we demolished and got rid of. That was a bit weird. Yeah happens. Life all around us. Life and death. Who are you? Go away. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah, I better crack on. I better crack on. There's a person hanging around. I like to keep my eyes out. <laughs> I'm so nosy. Anywho, let me get on with the day. I'll see you later. Hello again. It's Monday afternoon <clears throat> and I've just been filming my second episode of my fragrance blending journey. It's turning out to be quite a warm day. I think this little mini heat wave that we're having has started. Let me show you the temperatures. Let's have a look. So temperature outside is 34 in the sun and it's 20 degrees inside, which is quite pleasant. And it's just gone one o'clock, but I think it's gonna get quite warm quite warm. I don't mind because it means the house is going to warm up and it's, I don't know, it's just more pleasant, isn't it? Do you like my shirt? I thought I'd wear something floral for my perfume videos. Yeah. So yeah, I think it went well. I'll have to look at it a little later and review the footage because it contains quite a lot of, um, information about percentages and stuff like that. I think I mentioned that earlier. So um, I hope it's coherent and not too complex. So we'll see, I'll review it later. So that's it for today. I shall see you tomorrow, bye for now. Good evening, it's Tuesday evening, back to work today. <clears throat> I wasn't particularly looking forward to going to work today. Yeah, you know, you have some time off. You slip out of the routine and feel free. And uh, then it's back to it again. Mm. And the thing is, I've noticed when I take time off at any length, I sort of get into a new routine of creativity. And kind of feels good to be free and creative but it doesn't last too long so I'm so looking forward to being part-time again when I can really have that time that time and space to really do what I want yeah but it's been fairly busy at work, which is good. Today's been a real scorcher. Re really, really warm, hot weather. Not unpleasant, I have to say. Um, I found it okay, but I've been in air con, so I've been quite lucky. There's been a gentle breeze, very gentle, but the air quality didn't feel great. It did feel a bit thick, you know, dense and a little bit humid, a bit polluted, 
as well, which is not great. But hey, that's summer in London for you. It's not the most pleasant of places to be, unless there's a stiff breeze. There must be some cloud. So it looks like the sun's just gone in a little bit. They're forecasting thunder. Oh yeah, it really has suddenly gone cloudy. They're forecasting thunder. I've got the blind shot, by the way, which is why it's so dark, because we, we shot the sun out. Yeah, thunder is forecast. Uh, storms are forecast for tomorrow and Thursday. They're giving a weather warning, only a yellow one. So that tends to mean we probably won't get any storms whatsoever. Sun's coming out again. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, they promise the apocalypse and we get two drops of rain and a distant rumble. <sighs> I want full on, full on extreme storm weather. That's what I want. So I can film it and go viral. <laughs> I've never been able to replicate that storm video that went viral, but hey. A lot of you came along because of that, so I'm grateful. So, yeah. Yeah, an ordinary day. Nothing much to report. Um, I'll be doing more perfume blending videos. First one should be out this week, I think I mentioned that. I was going to do one this evening, but I just felt, no... After a day of work, it's hard to get motivated to really push and do a video when you get in from work other than a quick vlog. Anything structured that requires brain power, no, that's... no. I have to see how I feel tomorrow. Of course, if there is a storm, I'm on it. Even if I'm at work, I get the phone out. I'll put the phones on hold. <laughs> not really, really, not really. <laughs> I don't think anybody from work is watching anyway. If you are, speak up. <laughs> Let me know. Pre-warned is pre-armed. <laughs> it's forewarned is forearmed, isn't it? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Anywho. Nothing else to report. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. <clears throat> I'm feeling a bit bunged up, but I think it's pollen levels. I think they're quite high today. And there isn't much of a breeze, so I think the air is sort of sort of sitting around. And it's feeling quite sultry and humid. It's been a warm night. And I'm not complaining. It's It's been lovely. It's lovely not to have to, you know, snuggle under three duvets. <laughs> so, yeah, it's feeling very pleasant. There is a little bit of cool air available. What I tend to do is open everything first thing in the morning. Um, and let the fresh air through, well, I say fresh the cooler air through, um, which I've done. Just noticed there's a little bit of a breeze picking up, but it feels, it feels sultry. And the, the sky is not clear. There is quite a bit of cloud around. Um, I don't know, it looks as though there could be a storm bubbling up at some point. It's got that feel, you know. So yeah, I've just had a couple of cups of tea and a little bit of news reading. I need to get myself together, have a wash and uh, some breakfast and go to work. Yeah, I'm going to take the umbrella just in case. So I shall see you later on. 
Bye for now. Good evening. It's Wednesday evening. It's been another scorcher here in London. Um, not that I've really felt it at work because I do have the pleasure of aircon, which I can control. It's in the comms room, in the storeroom. We've got communication cabinets and they have to be kept cool. So they have a dedicated air conditioner in that tiny space, which keeps it like a fridge. And I open the door to this space and the cool air floods out and keeps reception cold as well, which is lovely. Good for the visitors. Good for me when I need it. But yeah, at one point I was frozen, frozen. And then I was able to walk out into the outside and experience that blast of heat. But yeah, it is, uh, it is very warm today. Hot, in fact. No sign of the predicted thunderstorms that they were going on about. No sign whatsoever. It's a little bit hazy in places, but... Ah, whether we'll get any, I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Uh, it's been incredibly busy today. Really busy. They've just been chucking stuff at me. You know, it's... Having email as the sort of method of, of work production um, is like having the in-tray of the office of the past. I don't know how many of you remember the in-tray. So today has been the equivalent of that in-tray being constantly filled with new pieces of work. Constant. And I had to stay a bit late. I stayed for an extra half hour because I really wanted to catch up without the phone disturbing me. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think I managed to get it down from 45 pieces of work to nine pieces by the time I left, which was a, a, a feat. Let's put it that way. It was a feat. I was working as quickly as I could. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, I feel a bit... <sighs> this evening. I had high hopes this week of doing some videos in the evenings, but no. I don't have the available brain space to dedicate to anything other than sitting here, looking at social media and maybe doing a couple of small chores. <laughs> That's it. The, the, yeah, it's not going to happen. Which is a shame, really, because, you know, in the summer we have these long evenings and uh, I guess you could do so much more with that time. I could do a little bit of gardening, but it's simply too hot and sticky to do physical work. So, yeah, my garden isn't tidy enough for me to go and sit out in it. I'm just, I'm waiting for a, a weekend of, I don't know, reasonable temperatures to really tackle the garden. And I need a long weekend to do that in as well. I'm really, I don't know, I'm really specific about what I need at the moment in my life. And I don't need rushed jobs that aren't finished. I don't need half-hearted attempts at things because of other issues that get in the way. I, I, if I'm going to do something, I want to do it properly. And I want the time and space to do it in. Yeah. That's me sending in that sending that intention out. Uh, so if I can't do something, I don't do it. Simple as that. I do occasionally break things down into smaller tasks to make them more achievable. I do do that. 
but I like to finish something that I start. Oh, piece of news. The rubbish has finally gone. Paul cancelled the original company because they kept letting us down. So he cancelled them and said, give me a refund on my deposit and got another company to do it. And they've taken it away. Hurrah. Which means a job that I can do now at the weekend is clear that driveway because the rubbish is gone. Hurrah. So that's the result. Um, yeah. So that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. It is Thursday afternoon. I've just got in from work and got changed. Ah, it's very, very sultry, very warm. Um, not necessarily st too sticky. I think it would be if you were doing lots of physical work. Um, but it's perfectly fine to sort of sit. But the air feels, the air does feel heavy. Um, it feels quite polluted. Um, but, you know, not horrendous. But it's quite grey and it is feeling sort of sultry and close, as though a storm could happen. I've checked the lightning map. They are popping up all over Oxfordshire and Surrey as well. And they're edging towards London. Whether they'll reach here, I don't know. Whether we'll have our own storms pop up above us. Because, you know, sometimes storms move and sometimes they just bubble up. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I haven't heard any thunder, but it is looking like a storm could happen. So, fingers crossed, if there is, I'll try and bring it to you. Oh, yeah. So, work today has been another busy day. It was a clinic day today, so we had appointments. Um, that was all okay. Nothing like yesterday. Nowhere near as busy, but busy enough but manageable. Um, yeah, nothing much to report. So I may see you later if the storm arrives. I'll be monitoring it closely, but other than that, no other stories to tell. So uh, I shall see you either later or tomorrow. Potentially disappointed that we didn't get any storms. <laughs> we'll see. Bye for now. Well, as you can see, it's a little bit later and it's gone very dark. There are a few rumbles of thunder, but it's kind of not moving right towards us. It's sort of in the Heathrow area. There's been a few strikes nearby, but nothing spectacular. But the heat is feeling really oppressive now. It's really, I don't know, pushing down, you know. So whether it will build up. Oh. Yeah, there's a rumble. But it's not, it needs to come closer. So it's spectacular. That's what I'm hoping for. We've had quite a bit of rain a sort of shower, um, I had to shut the Velux window at the top. It's feeling very hot at the top. But yeah, it's not the storm of the century, but sort of just a little bit further down south over Hampshire, parts of Surrey, um, it was really, really going for it on the map. So I'd like that here, please. Bring it on. Storm of the century. Yeah. So I'm up at the top of the house. There is a storm approaching. We've also got planes going over as well. But as you can see, it's looking very sultry. 
very stormy looking. So warm, really close. I think that's thunder. Yeah. Maybe not. This is the thing, whenever you're trying to catch a storm or some lightning, you either have to wait for ages or you give up. I think I shall go back to watching the lightning map until it gets a bit closer. Yeah, that's definitely thunder. Well, it's so bloody noisy you wouldn't know it. It's a really big storm in the distance because I could see it on the, the lightning map but it's just a little bit too far away to see but you can hear it rumbling around oh huge plane So we've now got torrential rain. We've had a few big cracks of thunder, but I didn't catch them on video. They were too few and far between, to be honest. And we were eating dinner, so, but the sun is out and it's raining. So I'm hoping there might be a rainbow. Let's look the other way. Garden looking very overgrown. God, I tell you the list of things I've got to do. It's just ridiculous. I just feel as though there's no time to do anything at the moment. And on top of that, I've noticed that the gutter at the front has come detached again. So we need to get our builder guy, Simon, back because there's water pouring out of it. So I'm a bit peed off about that. Yeah, <coughs> I don't know, things just, seem to have a habit of not going to plan at the moment, in general. That sun's really coming out now, there should be a rainbow somewhere. I always find it really frustrating, to be honest, when I'm trying to film a storm or capture a piece of weather. Because obviously there's no, you know, you have no control over it at all. And it's, I don't know, it's frustrating sometimes. Because you can bet your life if you decide not to film it, it'll, you know, it'll be the storm of the century. Oh, get a grip, Richard. Right, I really want to just relax for the evening now. Too tired to be chasing storms. It's so hot up here as well. I was hoping this storm might, 
you know, clear the air. I don't know whether you can see, but there's what looks like smoke over there. Quite a lot of smoke. Maybe there's been a lightning strike. Yeah, there's a fire. Oh, and is that the edge of a rainbow, right where the fire is? I put my zoom lens on. Yeah. You can see the faint rainbow and there's smoke rising. That's near the old GlaxoSmithKline building. Oh no, it's there. That's where it's coming from. Can't see the source of it. We're hidden within the trees. Gosh. Or is it just a barbecue in somebody's garden or something? I can definitely, oh, is it coming from a roof? I can't tell. But there's our faint rainbow. actually a really faint rainbow. I think you can just about make it out. We would need the sun to get quite a bit stronger, I think, for that to be visible. Shame. It's Friday evening. <clears throat> it's been another hot day today. It's still very sunny out there. I've got the blinds closed. Yeah. It's been a busy day at work. Um, yeah, not much to report. Feeling sort of fairly weary, actually. It's been a, you know, busy week in one way or another. And this weekend I've got my niece coming down again. She's got a couple of events in Islington. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing her tomorrow evening. Yeah, nothing much to report really. Uh, it's very different this evening than it was yesterday with the small storm that we had, which was very disappointing. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling quite tired. I'm ready for a good relax and uh, a good night's sleep tonight. Hopefully a bit of a lie-in tomorrow. I was awake really early this morning, which I think is contributing to me feeling tired now. Yeah. I wish this heat wave would sort of calm down a little bit. I think it's going to be a bit cooler tomorrow. I don't mind this weather, but the thing is, it's really challenging to do anything because within minutes you're sweating and feeling weary. You know, in the summer I always feel as though I don't have as much energy um, because I do wilt quite quickly in the heat. Whereas in the winter you're sort of moving about to create heat, to feel warmer by being active. And in the summer, you don't want to be as active. And, you know, there's always the same amount of things, if not more things to do in the summer, I think, anyway. You know, there's always more gardening needed, although I haven't done any gardening for weeks, apart from the front garden, which I did a couple of weeks ago now. I'm desperate to get out into the back garden to do some 
cutting back and shaping up of things because things have grown so much. It's a real mess out there. It's embarrassing. But as soon as it gets a bit cooler, I'll be doing that. So, yeah, that's it for today. Not much to report. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Oh, I'm so hot. Oh. It's Saturday morning, just gone, well, Saturday afternoon now, just gone 12. Uh, whew, it's been a busy, busy morning for me. Um, because it's, you know, a short weekend in my world, which means, you know, just Saturday and Sunday. No extra days. Um, I'm having to do chores today and I sort of wanted to do the chores as early as possible because, you know, the heat builds over the course of the day. But it's quite breezy and it's feeling quite fresh, but I'm boiling hot now. Oh my God, what haven't I done this morning? Oh, I got up, well, I woke up at about five, was wide awake, sort of tried to go back to sleep, but that wasn't happening as usual. <laughs> Paul was snoring away. Oh, the posty. Um, Paul was snoring away. So I got up at six. I heard the bongs downstairs. Thought I may as well get up, make tea and start my day, start my chores. Because I knew I had a mental list of things that I wanted to achieve. I got my niece coming this evening, which is fine. Um... But there's a you know few things I wanted to do. A because she's coming, I needed to to sort her bedding out, um, and B because the jobs need to be done. And I've got a few jobs lined up that are sort of monthly jobs, you know. Oh, Ooh. So I got up and I thought I need to iron some shirts for work next week. So I was ironing shirts at seven o'clock this morning. Then what did I do after that? Uh, put a wash on. Paul got up. So I thought, well, I'll strip the beds. So I did two sets of bedding. Took the wash out when it had done. <clears throat> put another wash in. Clean the kitchen floor. Cleaned the fridge, which is a job Paul keeps saying he's going to do, but never gets round to it. So I've done it, that's dealt with, and removed some of the biological experiments sitting in the back of the fridge. <sighs> really, Paul? He keeps jars of things, and God knows what they are. They're just in the fridge. It's like, just get rid of them. Throw, 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 throw. So, they've gone now. They're in the bin. <laughs> and yeah, he keeps saying, oh, I'll do the fridge. I think it really needs to be done. I mean, that fridge, it's literally falling apart. It's actually falling apart. One of the, the holder that sits in the door, oh, my nose is running, that sits in the door has broken quite a long time ago. The handle broke ages ago. We had to get a replacement handle. It doesn't look great, but... It'll do. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's just the light has gone. Um, I don't know why we haven't replaced the light. We've got two fridges and a freezer. So, you know, anywho, it really needs to be replaced. With a better, more efficient fridge. So I'll look into that. Oh dear. So, yeah, I vacuumed. I need to do some dusting. Um, yeah, it's been full on. Full on. I'm going to have a rest this afternoon. Definitely, I'm going to need it. Being awake at five this morning. But I do enjoy being busy and doing stuff and getting stuff done. Um, you know, it... Once you get 
sort of motoring along, it's it's good. You you kind of get into the flow, but it's so sticky. It feels so sticky once you start doing things. When you're sat there doing nothing, it's not too bad. It feels relatively, you know, copable. Once you start doing physical stuff, you start to feel really sweaty really quickly and it sort of stays on your skin. Ah, so there you go. That's today for you. Now, I wanted to quickly say about the perfume blending journey videos. I actually recorded two, but upon reflection and watching them back, I'm not really happy with them. I can't really pin down why I'm not happy with them, but I said to Paul that just doesn't, I don't know, doesn't feel right, doesn't feel natural, because I had so much information written down in notes, it kind of came across as a bit I don't know. I don't know what the word is, but it, it's just not working for me. So I'm going to I'm going to be re-recording them. Sorry, my glasses are falling off. Oh, so sweaty. I'm going to be re-recording them because I'm not happy with how they look and feel. And I need to be happy with them. So they are sort of delayed. I was hoping to do some more work on that this weekend, but I just don't think I'm going to fit it in. Mind you, tomorrow, once my niece has gone to her second event, once she's left, and I, you know, having had done, having done most of the chores today, I can't even speak, um, I may get some time to work on that tomorrow. We'll see. I've got a long weekend next weekend. I'm, I'm off on Friday, so I may just decide to shelve it for the moment and start on it again next Friday. I know it seems like a waste of time having put the videos together and told you that I'm filming them. But I, yeah, I'm just not, just not happy. I can smell bread. Paul put a loaf on for breakfast tomorrow with Sophie. So that's in the bread maker. You see, it's been a high of activity this morning. Total high of activity. Oh, right. I'm going to go because I need to put this together and I haven't done any work on it this week at all. Um, and I've got f quite a few clips to string together. I thought that was Paul, but it's not. So, yeah, there you go. From a busy, busy Richard and Paul household on a Saturday morning, I bid you adieu. And we will see you hopefully later for Sunday chat if we can squeeze it in today. It'll have to be filmed after lunch. And I've got to have a, shower, a shave and a hair wash and a bath. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit that in today. Because you can tell I'm sort of on the go and a bit woo, blah, 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 because I'm, my brain is working quicker than my mouth. <laughs> Oh dear, it's a busy life. I'll see you later. Bye for now.